Hello there, Scorpio. Welcome to the second half of September 2023 reading. So this is your shift. So let's see what you're shifting out of and shifting into. So first we'll check out what you're shifting out of. Maybe you're already shifted out of something. Maybe you're about to or maybe you're thinking about it. Let's see. So we have here abundance. Okay, you might be overdoing something, having too much of something, and may you want to give it a break. This could be overindulging in something. Abundance. And we have here, we have the day trader. This could be maybe you're doing too much daytime trading, maybe in stocks or something, or you're trying to um, guess the odds, trying to figure things out. Maybe you're tired of doing that. This is um, also... The Prince of the Prince of Discs, which is Prince of Pentacles coins, it's um Doris Virgo Capricorn. You could be shifting away from a person that does this. And we have here, we also have here this is Okay, this is the Knight of Knight of Swords. This is a game master. Ooh. Okay, either you are a person that um, knows how to figure out the you know next move here. You're very good at strategic things and figuring things out and making the next move. Maybe something to do with your money or other people's money for some. There's, but this is something like overdoing abundance of something. You might be moving away from that. Say, so, you know, I don't want to do this anymore. It almost feels like Someone is actually saying, you know, I want a different type of lifestyle. This has been fun for a while. It got me where I wanted to go, but now it feels like it's too much. I don't want to do it anymore. I want to um, sort of kick back. This one feels like someone wants to kick back. Let's see. What do we have for this abundance here? We have, yeah, waiting for the right time to do this. Okay, and what about this um, day trader here we have here the ten of wands says, yeah this has been a burden it might have brought you money it might have been um, financially successful but it's like it's weighing heavy now it's like too much a lot of stress comes with that too right i mean so maybe you're looking for something else queen of swords this almost feels like okay we have the queen of swords with this this is the knight of swords right with the knight of swords so it's like you're you're stepping into your truth. You're, you know, you want the truth here. You're cutting out what does not belong here. You're, you're ready to get, you're ready to cut this out is what I'm saying. And um, I'm not doing any of the markers, the the charms or the words because in this deck here, it doesn't have a king. It has a queen, it has a knight, a prince, and a princess. So it's too confusing. I don't want to make new markers for this, for just this one deck. So I'm just not going to use them. So just so you know. All right, so now bottom deck we have nine of swords and we have valor here we have the um seven of wands here so this is like you achieve what you had to do here maybe other people are stressing because you maybe told your boss i'm not doing this anymore i'm done i want to do something else and they're stressing because you make them a lot of money so i feel like i don't feel like the stress is on your part i think it's on you know with your boss or with the company and um it's like this this is a movement that you're taking. You're taking a stand. You're standing up for yourself to gain power in your own life. This is the, the truth of your power here. Okay, so now let's see. What are you shifting into? So we have, this is luxury. It's, uh, this is able to kick back. You're able to take your time. I mean, that looks like a drastic change. This probably doesn't look that luxurious to you. But this is just saying being comfortable doing what you want to do now. So maybe go into another field, another business. And just take the parts. I mean, you're not all going to be day traders, of course. And um, so just take how it means to your situation. Okay. So we have this luxury. Having other options. Wondering what you want to do here. And justice coming in here. So justice will prevail here. Libra energy. Maybe you're getting a new contract or you're, you're looking for a new contract. New contract in life. And we have here, and look, Ace of Cups is coming in. You're going to get your wish fulfillment here. You're going to end up doing something that you love, that you feel um, 
very comfortable with. Or it could be a new love coming in. We have here. And it's going to bring you wealth too. I think it will bring you wealth in both love and money. We're here. It feels like it was just more of a wealth as far as financial abundance. So now you're going to have it all. So let's see about this luxury card. The four of cups. The options. The choices. We have here. The nine of swords is coming up here now. Wow. Maybe you're a little worried about making this move, but you're going to be fine. Okay, look at this. We have the King of Cups plus the Six of Wands. So there could be a King of Cups coming in for you. But the King of Cups also loves what they do. Look at this leisurely life here. Out in the water, going fishing. Look at all the fish. The fish are abundance. There's a lot of fish in the water. So whatever you're doing, there's going to be abundance here. And you're going to be victorious. You have the Six of Wands. So this is the justice. You did what you had to do. And you worked hard. And now you're going to be able to kick back. Maybe you're retiring. Um, but whatever you're doing, you don't have to work, it feels like. But, you know, if you do work, it's going to be something you really love to do. And we have here, look at this. The Wheel of Fortune, Divine Time and Destiny. This is what's coming in for you. This is destined love, a destined connection. Destined happiness. And we have here the Tower, which is going to shock everyone. Because they might be saying, oh, what are you doing, Scorpio? How can you do that? Why would you do that? And they're going to totally shock them when everything works out in your favor. Aries Scorpio energy with the tower. Sudden change. Out of the blue. That's you. Okay, so now what is... How does this shift happen, though? How does this shift happen? So we have here... We have this... Um, There's some kind of interference coming in. This is the Eight of Swords. There might be someone that does something that aggravates you. And that's just enough make you say that's it i'm done you've been thinking about it and look at that we go right into the eight of wands things move quickly for you this is a deli delivery driver and the spokes on the wheel is the eight of wands this is you make a delivery make a announcement moving on to something else it's happening really quick here you know eights are a very um abundant number too we got two eights next to each other and then we have here this is the um sorry the matriarch the Queen of Disc. So, there could be someone here that, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, that's in your life. This could be your energy too. It's just like you're taking a stance. You're saying, well, you know, you're making sure that you're happy in your home life. This is someone sitting around the, the table here, um, having dinner, happiness, celebrating. And we look at this. Oh my gosh. We had double towers. Oh, are you shocking the the poop out of everybody? <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's clarify this eight of swords. And I'm, as I'm saying the word shift, I know that when they um, go through doing the text on this, put in the ca closed captions, they're going to be probably beating me all over the place thinking I said something else. Shift. S S H I F T. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Eight of Swords. We have here the Knight of Pentacles. There's an offer coming towards you. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Someone's coming in. They're coming in slow, steady, reliable, taking their time, but they're coming in. And then we have the Five of Wands. So you might have people fighting over you. So it's like competition for you. There's definitely change coming in. And we have here the Five of Swords. Yeah, there, I think there's people trying to, there also could be maybe even this matriarch here, trying to manipulate something here. But you got this. And Fives are changes, so just remember that. The Hangman. We have the Tower of Twice. We have the Fives coming up. There's a lot of changes coming for you. And also, be patient. Take your time. Don't jump on any of these offers. You don't have to rush it. You're fine. Okay, now, let's see what else we have here. We have here the painter. This is the Queen of Swords. Again, the, um, do we have the Queen of Swords? Yeah, Queen of Swords here. So this is a painter. This is someone that is very creative. And also, um, is a very loving energy to this. Doing what you love. I think whatever's coming in here, you're very creative. This is coming out in your work. And you're going to actually be doing what you really love here. So again, with the King of Cups and now the Queen of Swords, speaking your truth, doing what you love, 
Aquarius Leave of Gemini Energy. And we have here. And we have the devil. So. I'll have to put something on this one. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. Could be also some kind of temptation coming in for you. And we have here. Okay, we have the power. There could be someone that wants the power here. This is also the the four of disc here. So this could be someone holding back. Could be you holding back, someone holding back, or someone someone could be obsessing over you and not wanting to let you go. Now this definitely could be a love connection that someone's doing that, or it could be in work. I really feel like someone really wants to break free and do their own thing here. And the company's not going to be too happy about it. So we have here, but you're going to balance things out. You have the two of disc. And you need to make a decision because you do have choices here. Okay, so now let's see about this the painter. So someone could be an artist too. Let's see. Seven of Cups. See, you have options. You have choices. You're very creative. And a lot of people are realizing that you would be a good catch to have in their company. Now what about this devil? The Queen of Wands. Someone is very attracted to you. Attracted to your work. Attracted to you personally. Attracted to your looks. Um, someone finds you very attractive. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Queen of Wands. Okay, what about the power? Ooh, the tower again. The tower on the power. <laughs> I think someone's trying to hold on to you and they're realizing they can't. And I think you're also holding back here. And that's shocking people. Aries, Scorpio, energy. Because you have the power and that's shocking people. You have total control. Okay, whoops. Look who want to pop up. We'll take it. The universe, yeah. You're stepping out of your old world right into your new world. And this is totally surprising people. Look at that. You're taking a leap of faith. You're walking up. You're doing what you need to do here. The universe. And we have... And we have science here. This is a six of swords. This is you moving on. You know... You're done being hurt. You're done trying, some people trying to hold you back or, or trying to, you know, manipulate you. You're done. You're moving on. And we have here, look at this, the Ace of Wands. Passion, desires, st you know, standing up for yourself. This is a torch on the Statue of Liberty. You got this. And we have here, yeah, there's a victory. So this is the Six of Wands. You're, you're claiming your victory here. We have the Six of Wands here and Six of Wands here. You definitely, you're claiming your victory. You're taking back your power. Okay, what about the Universe card? We have here the Ace of Swords standing in your truth. Cut out. It does not belong. Wow. Look at these Aces. Wow. Okay, what about the Science card? That is actually the Six of Swords. So we have here the Four of Swords. You're healing. You've been through enough. You're moving on. And you're going to a very healing place. Okay. And the Ace of Wands. We have here. Look at this. Ten of Cups. You're coming to a happy home life. A happy family. A lot of passion. A lot of desire. And we have the Ace of Pentacles. Too. Look at these Aces. This is amazing. You know, and everybody's thinking, oh, you're a fool. You're walking away from so much money. You're doing so well, this and that. Yeah, but you're going to even have more because you're going to be doing what you love. And when you do what you love, there's nothing can beat that. So you're going to a, a less stressful time, something so much better. And you have all these opportunities from what you, it's almost like the universe is paying you back for all you suffered and how hard you worked. So now you're going to see this coming back for you. There's a big time payment coming in for you. Okay, so now let's go right to the, the um, sign. This could be placement, your chart placement, other people's charts, past, present, and future. Let's see. Leo. Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Look at all this fire. Ooh, Capricorn and Aries. Yeah, see, there's a lot of fire here. Put a little dirt in there. <laughs> oh my gosh, the other Sagittarius. And Libra, look at the fire in this. Whoa. You could be dealing with a lot of people that have fire in the chart, or you have a lot of fire in your chart, or 
but there's a lot of passion, a lot of desire here. Okay, so we have Leo, Sagittarius, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aries, Sagittarius, and Libra. Okay, now we do the letters. So we're going to do 11 letters for initials, first name, last name. If you get both someone's initials for the first and last name, and they have a middle name, and you know that middle name, you get that initial also, all the better. Past, present, and future, also your own initials. We have X, J, U, J, S, O, A, Q, G, U, N. Okay, guys. So the letters we have here today are X, J, U, J, S, O, A, Q, G, U, N. All right. Now, let's see what names we have. Could be people that you're dealing with in the past, the present, or the future people you might deal with. Let's see. Or maybe even your own name comes out. So we have here Missy Takumi T A K U M I Roxanne Janine J E A N I N E and we have Levi Clo. Imad, E M A D, Stacy, Stephanie, May, M A E, and Colleen. Okay, so we have three, six, nine, eleven names. Okay, perfect. All right, guys, now remember these are general readings, they're not personal readings. Please just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. You know, maybe this part here doesn't make sense with you, but, you know, parts of it will. It doesn't have to be the whole thing because it is a general reading. Also, if it does not resonate, check out your other placements, your sun, your moon, your rising, your Venus sign. Something might resonate with you more in your other placements, or it might give you that missing piece, that missing link. The part of the puzzle makes everything click together. At the end of each one of these readings, I, there'll be a thumbnail pops up here. Click on that. It'll take you to the previous reading. Now, the previous readings I did for you guys were over the weekend, and that was Saturday and Sunday, that they were posted, 9-9-23 and 9-10-23. So it's um, timeless reading. So whenever you happen to watch them, that's when you're meant to see it. But if you want to check them out, the link is right there. You go right there if you like to. If not, I hope to see you on the next reading. But I'm so happy you were here for this reading. I love you guys so much. I appreciate all your likes, your shares, your subscribes, your comments. And I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you.